Hello everyone and thank you for watching my channel. If you like what I'm doing here, please consider subscribing, liking, and commenting. It would really help the channel out quite a bit. Thank you very much. Tongue, famous quick relief for acid indigestion, presents the Marlon Hertz and Beulah Show. <laughs> Lovely Carol Stewart, the music of Albert Sack and his orchestra, and starring Marlon Hurst and... Got the world in a juggle Got the stopper in my hand. <laughs> yes, sir, it's Cuba! <laughs> If there's anything the housekeeper at 213 Lake Street can't stand the sight of, it's a messy basement. That's why she's always careful to look the other way when she opens the cellar door. This morning, however, her boss opened the basement door himself, and that's why, busily filling boxes with junk, we find Marlon Hurt and Beulah! My goodness, Mr. Marlon's basement sure is a mess, ain't it? We got enough junk in here to start our own city dump. Yeah, it looks like we have started one. Yeah, sir, this is a no-bargain basement. If you look at this place, you think it hadn't been cleaned out for a year. How long has it been? A year. <laughs> now, it seems like every time I start to clean it up, something always happens. I was going to do it last week, but the Cardinals won the ball game. Wait, what have the Cardinals winning a ball game got to do with cleaning out this basement? Mr. Marlin, when you don't want to do something, one excuse is as good as another, either. <laughs> yeah, so this job has been put off like a civilian on an airliner. <laughs> well, here, throw all this junk in the box there. This old briefcase is no good. It's all full of old maps that are no good either. Oh, uh, hello, Aunt Alice. I just talked to the coal company, Marlin, and they're going to deliver the coal tomorrow. We'll have this place cleaned out pretty soon now. Hey, do you autumn cold today, Mr. Marlin? In this weather? My goodness, it was 92 yesterday. Well, it won't be 92 in December. As a matter of fact, Marlin, they were delighted you ordered your fuel early. They don't know how much coal they'll get this year, but they don't expect enough to go around. I thought we wasn't going to use coal this year, Mr. Marlin. I thought we were going to use that other stuff, them little gray lumps. Coke, Beulah? No, sir, I'm not thirsty, thank you. <laughs> It's getting awfully hot outside right now, Marlon. I think it's going to be hotter than yesterday. is isn't bad in the house, though. Oh, it won't get hot inside, ma'am. I'm going to keep this house cool today. I left the windows open all night and closed them up full of cool air this morning. <laughs> I don't know whether that works or not, Dylan. Here, throw these old letters in with the junk, will you? Yeah, sir. My, don't this smell good? Uh, what letters are those, Marlon? Oh, just some I got in school. Such pretty letters, too. Pink and blue. Oh, incidentally, Beulah, what happened to that boyfriend of yours? I thought he was coming over to help us this morning. Bill? Oh, yeah, he said he'd be here, ma'am. I called him up and he said he'd hurry right over. Oh, that boy hurries like a tired turtle. <laughs> well, he can carry these boxes of junk out in the alley when he does get here. Look over here, Aunt Alice. See if there's anything you want to keep out of this box. All right, Marlon. I think it's all junk, though. Seems a shame to throw away. They smell like lilac. Mm-hmm. Sure smells pretty. Oh, now, wait, Julie, you ain't fixing to read the man's letters. Well, he said he didn't want them, did he? I know, but you ain't ought to be reading them. Oh, hush up. Now, I'm busy. <laughs> Let me see you say, Dearest Marlon, please don't be angry at Papa's action last night. He is very fond of you, really. He just has a habit of always shooting at my boyfriend. <laughs> Oh, you ought to break yourself of that. That's a bad habit. Bueller, what are you doing? Oh, uh, um, oh, well, uh, this is, um, this letter here, Mr. Marlon. It's, uh, it fell right out of the envelope. Mm-hmm. Now, so open right up my hands. <laughs> Face up, too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, oh, now, Mr. Marlon, you don't think I'd read your old love letters on purpose, do you? Yes, I do. And you were so right. <laughs> And I'm so sorry. Well, okay, then. As I recall, they were pretty good reading at that. 
Well, I'll take them and burn them later. Well, here's the rest of the junk, Beulah. Have Bill take it all out. Okay, ma'am. I'll just keep this little old thermometer, though. Don't throw that out. I'll hang it upstairs. All right, if you want it. Well, come on. We might as well go upstairs, although I'd just as soon stay down here where it's cool. It ain't going to be hot in the house today, Miss Ma. Like I said, I'm going to keep them windows closed and the temperature down and our spirits up. Well, I hope you're right. Personally, I don't well, think it's... Well, isn't that here in the kitchen, Marlon, at that? Well, it's early yet. When it get hot today, we might as well face it. Keeping those windows closed won't keep the heat out. I don't know now, Marlon. Maybe it might help. Well, I don't know about you two, but I'm going to go make like a bride right now. Make like a bride, sir? Yep. I'm going to surprise myself with a shower. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's him. That's my boy. <laughs> It seems pretty comfortable out here in the kitchen, Beulah. What does the thermometer say? Well, let me see. It's, um, to say, um, 80. That's what it says. Oh, yes. Why, that isn't bad at all. I'm beginning to think keeping the house closed up does help, Beulah. Must be much hotter than that outside. Well, I know, man. The grocery boy brought us a T-bone a while ago. And when he got here, that steak was medium rare. <laughs> well, in that case, I won't step out of the house today. Uh, did Bill ever get here to take that junk out, by the way? Uh, he's coming up the back walk now, ma'am. Trying his best to get here after the job is done. Well, put him to work, Beulah. If he's going to eat, he's going to work, ma'am, and I know he's going to eat. Who's been knocking on my door three hours late? It's Bill, baby. No pain, no strain. Hello, Bill. Yeah, I rode in here on the crest of a heat wave. Ooh, it is hot out there. Well, shut the door. I'm keeping the place closed up here so it's take cool. Let me sit down here next to the ice box. <clears throat> I'm steaming like an uphill freight train. <laughs> Where you been? You told me on the phone you'd be over here in three shakes. That's what it did. Come right over here in three shakes, two pineapple and one vanilla. <laughs> and it heat sure make me hot, sure make me hot, this heat. Oh, Bill, you told me you helped me clean out the basement this morning. I'll be good and mad with you. Uh oh, hold that pose, baby. Oh, I like it when you get that spark in your eyes. That's pretty. I just thought of a new name for you on account of you as such dynamite. From now on, you as my incendiary brunette. <laughs> oh, that's cute, Bill. Incendiary brunette. <laughs> oh, you have a shame, though, getting over here after all the work is done. The work's all done, huh? Oh, I wanted to help. Oh, that's bad. But there's one job left. Oh, that's worse. <laughs> you just said you want to help, so I saved the heavy lifting for you. Come on, it's down in the basement. Heavy lifting? Yeah, but you see, do the my mother. Come on, trot downstairs there and can them boxes junk out and set them in the alley. Hurry up now, I'm holding the door. Okay. Here goes your muscle man, baby. What would you do without me, anyhow? I don't know, but don't tempt me to try it. I don't care what everybody say. He's kind of cute, isn't he? It is awful hot today to be carrying heavy boxes. But Bill, he ain't going to overdo. I know that. Well, still nice and cool in here, anyhow. That little old mom could say, come in. Hello, Beulah. Oh, hello, Miss Cal. Come in out to eat. Isn't it murder? The paper says it's the hottest day. Oh, hello, Cal. I thought I heard you out here. What are you doing out today, honey? Even mad dogs and Englishmen stay in the shade on a day like this. Oh, the house is in an uproar, Marlon. Dad picked today to weather strip the windows. Weather strip? What's that weather strip stuff, Miss Cal? It's to make the windows tight, Beulah. It saves heat. My goodness, all this heat kicking around town and I don't see what anybody wants to save it for. <laughs> no, no, no. That's for the winter, Beulah. Dad says we're going to be awfully short of coal and oil this winter. He says we've got to get all the heat out of it. We can. Now, that's right. This reconversion business is going to take a lot of fuel. Hey, how would we get on this subject anyway? Let's talk about something pleasant. I'm burning up. 80 degrees. Weather's nice and yellow. I'd better rush, Marlon. I'm going downtown to look over the August fur sales. They've got some wonderful coats. Fur sale? Fur coats? In this weather? Oh, I'm not going to buy anything, Marlon. I'm just going down and look them over and try them on. And they've got a cross box down there I want to see, too. In this weather, he's got a right to be cross. Well, come on, honey. I'll walk you to the front door. Okay. I think Dad's going to give me a fur coat for Christmas. Wonderful. And uh, that's one time I won't t mind taking the wrap. <laughs> Come along, <laughs> <laughs> Take the rap. I wish Mrs. Ma would marry that little girl. She got the same kind of sense of humor he's got. Kind of on the corner side. But I... <laughs>
I'm going to get me a door, man. I'll put a revolving back door here. Come in. Hello, Beulah. How's everything? Oh, eh? fine, Mr. Niles. In here, must be awful hot outside, though. Oh, it's a wonderful day, Beulah. Temperature around 100. I feel great. You always do feel great, don't you, man? <laughs> I never did see you when you wasn't strictly sunny side up, sir. Well, that's because I'm always well and happy, Beulah. You know, most of the bad tempers you see in people are because they aren't well in some way or other. And you'd be surprised how much of that irritability comes from acid indigestion. Oh, that indigestion. And the fastest way I know to knock it out is with Tums, the famous quick relief for acid indigestion. Well, say hello to Mr. Marlin for me. Yeah, I'd like to bump into that guy sometime. My, ain't he nice. All the time dropping in here, yaddly, 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 rush right off the <laughs> I'm all glad I don't have to go out in this heat. That sunshine is hotter than a fireman's ladder. How are you feeling, Beulah? You want to go to your room and take a cold shower or something? Oh, no, ma'am. I'm fine, Miss Annie. I'll be just nice here. Yeah. I told you I know how to keep the house cool. I don't know. It seems to me like it's getting a little warm. Hey, I just had the radio on. It's 110 downtown, and I don't mind you telling you. I know it. You know, I think that darn cold shower I took made me a lot hotter than ever. What you need, Mr. Marlin, is an emergency. You ought to keep cool in an emergency. <laughs> what I need is a change in the weather. I wish it would rain. Why don't you try washing the car? I thought it said you wash the car with... Oh, no, it's too hot for this. I can feel my temperature going up right now. And we'll all be better off if we just don't talk about the weather. Well, you're the one who's bothering Marlin. You're just talking yourself into being hot. As a matter of fact, you're talking me into it, too. Well, let's forget it, then. I'm going to make a pitcher of lemonade. Anybody call? For oh, the lover. <laughs> the lover, Pete, why don't that now, guy... Now, be nice to your neighbors, Marlin. Out here, Mr. Jenkins. Hello, neighbor. Hello, Mr. Jenkins. I do, sir. Hi, George, Mrs. Bates. You're looking wonderful. <laughs> oh, well, thank you. <laughs> and Beulah, you got your hair different again, huh? Looks great. Thank you, sir. <laughs> and her? Yeah. Hot enough for you? Oh, now, Jenkins, please, don't. <laughs> oh, you can't take it, huh? You're not hot on a mild day like this, are you? I keep the cool in here, but keep the windows closed, Mr. Jenkins. That thermometer there, it's only about 80 right now. Oh, well, that's a good idea, you huh? You have to watch these cracker box houses. They really heat up, you know. Now, wait a minute, Jenkins. This house... No, 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 don't apologize for your house, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to live in it. You probably paid plenty for this Quonset hut at that, huh? <laughs> I had this house built for myself, Jenkins. Built to my own measurements. Ah, well, they slipped somewhere. It's taller than you are. 
Incidentally, Hurt, uh, you don't really expect to get that load of coal you ordered today, did you? Well, I'd better get it. They said, it... hey, wait a minute. Who told you I ordered a load of coal today? Oh, I keep in touch. Happened to be on your roof this morning looking for a bird's nest. <laughs> happened to be looking down your chimney and, uh, happened to hear you talking in the basement. On my roof, will of all We should the... keep your furnace door open after this. It sounded pretty garbled. <laughs> well, now that's a dirty shame. Well, I'll accept your apology. Just be more careful next time, that's all. Yeah, another thing, you better get those shingles fixed up there, Hurt. Got a bad skin shin when I fell through your roof. <laughs> when you what? Jiggins, if you poked a hole through my I roof... I certainly hope you've got insurance, Hurt. Because somebody might take a fall around here sometime and... Just be nasty enough to sue you for plenty. <laughs> yeah, but if a guy fell on my I'm roof... sorry I can't stop and chat with you now, Hurt. Some other time, maybe, huh? Well, goodbye, Mrs. Bates. You laugh. As soon as I have this leg x-rayed, my lawyer will give you a buzz. <laughs> Neighbor? <laughs> my goodness, I hope it didn't hurt himself bad, Mr. Marlin. Yes, I hope it's nothing a few months in a traction splint won't fix. Oh, gone it. I am hot now. I I'm going upstairs and lie down. I think I'll go sit in the bathtub. <laughs> you see, just goes to show how folks can talk themselves into something. Just another case of mind over matter. I don't know what's the matter with them, but as long as I'm cool, I don't mind. Love the Carol Stewart thing. I don't care who knows it. I don't care who knows it I'm in love with you I guess I'll always be this way Nothing you do or say can ever change me I'm for you forever you're my whole life through That's how I am And I don't care who knows it I'm in love with you I don't have to go out in that summertime today. Is there any lemonade left, Beulah? I'm getting hotter by the minute, and it feels like an hour from now. Yes, and I'll pour you some. I don't want to bother you, folks. Be this little old thermometer we hold our own. Well, I guess I've been thinking about the heat too much. Seems like oh, I've done nothing but... That upstairs is like a bake oven. I turned on the cold water faucet in my bathroom, and steam came out. Oh, now, Marlon, don't exaggerate. After all... I'm not exaggerating. Hot water came out of my cold water faucet. Oh, that's on account of when I had Bill fix that drip, you see. He got the hands mixed up. <laughs> oh, fine. This heat fit me down anyway, though. I'm beat out like a ninth-inning bunt. Oh, who's that? I don't know. But if he's got a forked tail and a pitchfork, he'll feel right at home here. It's the egg man. Come in. Uh, uh, howdy, uh, uh, folks. It's uh, Frank again. Uh, oh, hello, Mr. Frank. <laughs> Come in, son. Shut the door. Uh, we don't want a lot of hot air in here, Mr. Frank. Well, now, I, I, I hope you don't mean anything personal with that man. <laughs> oh, no. We're uh, we're just keeping the house cool. Oh, well, the only one way to keep a ho house cool these days 
If you just keep yourself a nice plant around the house. Makes it nice and cool, yes, sir. Plant? Mm -hmm. What kind of plant? I just told you. A ice plant. <laughs> <laughs> That's a little joke of mine. Took me a whole week to make up for that joke. That's what it is, a weak joke. Well, <laughs> you know, I, ha I had a hard time. I like to not go out here today. Uh, I had a little trouble with my truck or my car. Trouble? Yeah, uh, uh, I had an awful time getting here with that car, Marn. Well, what was the matter? Uh, I forgot to bring it. <laughs> yes, yeah, sir, I, I got interested read reading in the papers about a radio show. Oh, a radio show? Mm-hmm. It it's changing over from Monday to Sunday. At 26th of August, it goes to Sunday. 26th of August. Yes, yeah, sir. Uh, a Marlon Hurt and Beulah show, they call it. A, a comedy show, it's supposed to be. <laughs> uh, say, uh, that feller's got the same name you have, ain't he? Hmm, quite a coincidence. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, it's a small world, ain't it? Yeah, uh, uh, do you like that show, Mr. Frank? Well, I never cared much for, uh, uh, funny, uh, for, for comedy shows myself. Uh, uh, you can't get the market reports on them. <laughs> and, and, and no prizes, neither. Yes, that's a bad drawback. Really. Well, I've, I've been having ups and downs my troubles anyhow, though. <laughs> uh, worrying about this reconversion business. Uh, I'm afraid when Army and Navy quits buying, there's going to be too much milk and eggs. Just a slug on the market. <laughs> Might be. Well, so I've been trying to uh, uh, figure out something else for my cows and chickens to do. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Quite a problem. Well, I better get along now. Uh, this heat's getting me down. Um, you know, I bought me an ice bag, uh, but it didn't work. What was the matter with it? Well, uh, I filled it up with ice, and I couldn't get my head through the hole. <laughs> Don't rush, don't rush off in the heat of the day, Mr. Frank. We, we keep them nice and cool in here. Oh, yes, it's real, it, it's mighty nice in here, Beulah. Uh, must be a hundred and, a hundred and, a hundred and ten outside. Uh, uh, it don't, uh, feel like it in here, though. It, it don't feel a bit over a hundred and nine. Well, uh, so long now. What's this song about? Man talking crazy, a hundred and nine. Just nice and pleasant in here. You can see right there on the wall, it's only eighty. I, I don't see how that thermometer can insist it's only 80 when I Marlon, feel like it must be. Marlon, Beulah, look at that butter he brought. Butter? Here, it's melting right in front of us. Look, I'm going to get my own thermometer out of the desk. I, I don't believe it. Let me see that thermometer of yours, Beulah. That is, ma'am. It's sort of an advertising thing. Let's see. Take Dr. Robert's Peppo and feel like a kid at 80. <laughs> Beulah, it's just painted on here. <laughs> hey, look at this. This thermometer is right. Yes, sir, it's, um, uh, oh, my, 115? <laughs> oh, I feel off. I feel terrible. Uh, so do I. I knew keeping them windows down was making it hot in here. <laughs> Let me get some crack ties. Stand there, somebody. Give me the feet, ball. I believe I'm going to camp with you. <laughs> oh, let's go down to the basement. It must be cooler down there. Oh, my. I think I'm going to get a sunstroke. Throw the white on me, somebody. Now, relax, relax. Just relax. It ought to be cooler down here. Oh, I knew that thermometer couldn't be right. It felt like... Oh, who's down here? Uh, what's the time of that? It's just Bill. Oh, hello there, Mr. Marlin. Bill, ain't you took that junk out yet? Well, I just about finished, honey, but too hot to carry that heavy junk out today, so I just built me a fire in the front. It's been burning the stuff all day. <laughs> It's 150, and I'm dying with the heat, and you got to find a fire Oh, Bill, you fool. Glad to be with us again next week at this time for another half hour with Marlon Hurt and Beulah, produced and directed by Helen Mack. Ad Alice is played by Catherine Carr. Jess Kirkpatrick played Mr. Frank. John Brown was Mr. Jenkins. And Beulah, Bill, and Marlon Hurt were played by Marlon Hurt. This is Ken Niles reminding you, night and day, at home or away, always carry Tums. T-U-M-S. Tums for the tummy. Got the world in a jungle, got the top of his mind. <laughs> this is CBS, the Columbia Broadcasting System.